Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry and today I want to tell you about the revolution that put an end to the entire socialist bloc. Yes, I'm talking about Hungary. If you are interested, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. 1989 was the year of the collapse of communism in all the countries of the former Warsaw Pact. Everywhere except Romania, revolutions were bloodless and remained in history under the name of Velvet. In Hungary, the change turned out to be the most peaceful and painless. It is about the revolution in this country that we will talk today. So, on October 23, 1989, the change of power and system ended in Hungary. The parliament removed the word People's Republic, symbolizing the communist fast from the name of the Hungarian People's Republic. The date was not chosen by chance. October 23 is the memorial day of the Hungarian uprising of 1956. Then about 200,000 people came to a rally called by students of the Budapest Polytechnic Institute and the next morning the government was headed by Imre Nagy. Kadr, who turned 76 in 4 days, was dismissed. A ceremonial position of party chairman was created especially for him. Conservative Karai Gross became the new Secretary General, but the reformers also strengthened their positions, and the course for political and economic transformations received official support. Reform circles emerged within the party, which soon merged into the Union of Reforms and the People's Democratic Platform. In January to February 1989, the Hungarian parliament passed laws on multi-party system, pluralism of trade unions, abolition of censorship and freedom of assembly. The pre-war party of small rural owners and the Socialist Democratic Party were revived and new ones were formed. The Union of Free Democrats and the Christian Democratic People's Party. On May 10, Kader is signed as party chairman. On June 24, a quit coup took place at the plenum of the Central Committee of the Supreme People's Party. Kader's place was taken by Radyar Nayers, an old social democrat who openly called Soviet socialism a utopia. Unlike his predecessor, Nienz immediately began to play an important role in the leadership of the party. In early July, it was he and not Secretary General Gross who represented Hungary at the meeting of the Political Advisory Committee of the Warsaw Pact countries in Budapest. On July 25th, a historic according to many meetings of Niersh and Gross with Mikhail Gorbachev and Alexander Yakovlev took place in Moscow. On June 16, the day of the execution of Nazi, Militer and Gimesh, the remains as well as the bodies of Colonel Josef Silati, who died during the suppression of the 1956 uprising, and Minister Gesa Vashonze, who died under investigation, were solemnly reburied in Budapest Hero Square. About 250,000 people came to the ceremony. On the same day, Prime Minister Nemes presented a gift to his colleagues in the Warsaw Pact. He ordered to open the border with Austria and remove a 218 km barred wire fence on it. The borders between a number of socialist countries in Eastern Europe were previously open. Tens of thousands of people, especially East Germans, were immediately seized by the desire to travel. Families loaded their belongings into cars and went to Hungary and then to Austria and FRG. Journalists compared the social camp with a balloon which was preserved with a pin in one place. The authorities of the GDR and Czechoslovakia protested by the Hungarian government refused to restore the status quo. Kador died on July 6, 1989, three weeks after the post-most triumph of his main political enemy. On October 6 to 9, the Congress of the Supreme People's Party was held in Budapest. It was supposed to be the 14, but in order to emphasize its special role and break with the past, the organizers officially called the event Congress 89. The party removed the word worker from its name, adopted a social democratic program and announced the termination of the activities of primary organizations and enterprises and institutions. 
Curry Gross lost his post, the party was led by Ryder Nersh and his supporters. After that, the legislative formalization of the change of the state system at the session of the parliament became a matter of technique. In February 1990, the Hungarian Socialist Party initiated a round table with other parties on the Polish model, but the results of the parliamentary elections held in two rounds. On March 25th and April 8th, made negotiations on the division in power meaningless. The right-wing opposition won, the Socialists received only 10% of the vote. Their presidential candidate Imre Pozhgai was to the representative of the right Arpad against. 